thing, living where he lives is gonna make you write like he wrote. Writers write from their spinal cords, not their brains. It's the electricity that counts. You gotta plug in, you gotta hotwire, you gotta go straight to the source. Ernest Hemingway walked down this very street. Oh, hell, man. Oh, hell. What? Morning, taxpayers. Thanks, Fred. You're the individual shot his vehicle? Yes, sir. Well, there ain't no crime against killing cars as long as your weapon's registered. And it is. I checked. Let me intro myself. I'm Sheriff Cody, Jeremiah Jefferson. I'm a direct descendant of Wyatt Earp and the Lone Ranger. My personal heroes are Ted Nugent, Buddha, and Davy Crockett. I am the last real lawman and the first peace officer of the 21st century. Pleased to meet you, sir. You need a friend? I'm your best friend. I teach Tai Chi every morning at the lagoon. Here's my number. You're invited. Any It's Peace Officer Cody. I'll be right there. Now, I'm a triple Leo, but I'm not attached to authority. I'm a part of the flow that started with the Hammurabi Code, worked its way on down through the U.S. Constitution, on through me, ends with enlightenment or the electric chair. Your choice. But if you cross over to the dark side of the force, I will become Obi-Wan Kenobi. You do damage first offense, you will be invited to join my personal recentering program. You will be doing push-ups. You will be running laps and doing Tai Chi with me in the morning. You will be drinking raw broccoli juice right on the bindigo. That's the juice you drink in hell, man. That's first offense. Second time is hard time. You'll be practicing your mantra in a small dark room provided by the U.S. government. I got a hundred percent conviction rate. The choice is yours. You gotta run. And remember, this force is on your side. Peace. You should have seen his daddy what was sheriff before him. That man was really strange. Come on, let me show you that trail I'm going, Ranger. Hey, compadre, that seasickness goes away by the morning. Oh. Looks like this hook went right through the meat of the hand. Uh, uh, well, still, uh, while I get the net off, yeah. All in all, compadre, I'd say you're just not cut out for life at sea. I got to work. I'll start. Don't oh. worry. I got a bead in some employment for you. Oh, good. Another job. Oh, we take a look at the size of this sucker on his back. What? Ah! Oh, oh that's disgusting. Uh, well, that's a rarity in these parts. What is it? You can't feel that on your back? Can't feel anything. I, I don't feel anything on my back. What? That's the biggest one I ever saw. The biggest what? A giant sea meat. No! Yeah, man, that's what it is. No! No, oh, that sucker's drinking some blood. Ah! Who's that? Oh, that's Dr. Riley Clark. She does the dolphin thing here. You'll have to impress her if you want your job. Hey, Sasha! You know, there's a whole lot of theories about these guys. Some very wise men say that these are the descendants of the lost continent of Atlantis. Fish? No, they're not fish. The abandons had developed such a high state of consciousness that they no longer needed dense matter. They were moving on to a liquid environment. See, they had weren't past greed and avarice. They no longer needed possessions. So in a supreme act of evolution, they partook of the sea, body and soul. They sunk their home, left their bodies and moved on to a state of uninterrupted consciousness. No more bills to pay, no more toilets to flush, just this. 
Now that's following your dreams. So now, whenever they see a human, they remember their past life and they smile. Hey. Hey. If you concentrate on your breathing, you can feel their aura. It's very blue. Are you talking about dolphins being Martians again? I didn't say Martians. Oh, what are they today? Elvis? No. <laughs> you want to tell me? The last inhabitants of Atlantis. It's a theory. Oh, I guess I missed it in the literature. Who postulated this theory? A very wise spirit guide. Does he have a name? Yes. Does he have a body? He doesn't have a body, does he? No. But, but that's no reason to put him down. He happens to be a very kind, loving spirit channeled by a very close brother of mine. And you are? Seamus O'Neill. He's new in town and needs a job. Well, what can you do? Have you ever worked with dolphins? No. Have you ever worked in a research facility or an aquarium? No. Graduate from college? No. Well, I can see why you wanted me to hire him to work in a very complex environment that would stress a PhD. I thought he could shovel dolphin poop. Interdependent. If one falls, many fall. Who broke wind? Breathe. How do you expect me to breathe with this steam and loosen the air down here? It's natural. Go with it. You go with that again, I'll go bust his head. Be peaceful. That's what we're learning here. Peaceful solution. I did some past life incarnation work one summer. Trained with the last living Inca priest. Went out to the flats near Joshua Tree. Very high energy there. I stood on the sands at dawn. After a while, my body melted away below me. And as I peeled off all my clothes, I became a lion, manifested. I started running but nude, naked, barefoot over burning sands. I was a lion. I became my spirit animal. You hear what I'm saying, Seeker? 
I was not following my bliss. I was bliss. I was the dream. I ran 23 miles barefoot over burning sands. You follow me, traveler? Yes. That is the deepest moment I've ever experienced down here in Dance Matter. All I ever wanted for the rest of my life was to bound over boulders and chase small game. Couldn't live my life that way, though. It put me in a zoo. So I decided this time around, I have to deal on the human plane. I have to deal with desire, ego, pride. I got to learn how to do my karma dance physical thing. You had to get a job. I had to get a job. You had to make money. The green energy. So you came down to the end of the world to follow your bliss, but you lost your money. Now you got to keep the physical thing going. How do you do both? How do you live in this world and follow your bliss? I don't know. How do you do both? Ah. Sheriff Cody, your usual today? No. Today I'll have something different. A big glass of raw broccoli juice. Just run it through the blender. You got it. Excuse me. No smoking here. So sue me. I'm not going to sue you. Then shut up or get lost. But I will put you in jail. The lady from the truck. Can I sit down? Can I smoke? I dreamt you. Uh huh. No, very straight, no distortion here. You were walking on the sun, flames and hydrogen were exploding all around you, but you were not consumed. Then when? I saw you in your pickup truck, and boom, you're here. I rate that an eight. Good, but no phone number. No, I'm not doing the singles bar thing. My name's Cody Jeremiah Jefferson. I'm the sheriff. What's your name, friend? I'm afraid to tell you. You might start levitating. Star. Star? Your name is Star? Hold on to the table. There are definitely unseen hands at work here. You can feel it? Unseen hands. Do it for me. You? Yep. Mm. Nice and tender. Shot Bambi. Boom. Right between the eyes. You don't hunt? Defenseless animals? Let's put it on the table. I hunt, smoke, eat junk food, listen to Andrew Dice Clay, believe in nuclear power, and voted for Ronald Reagan. Still want to take me to bed?
You're all dressed up. Am I early? Actually, you're a little late, cowboy. What? You want me to put on a pretty party dress you could spend all night trying to take it off me? Why don't we skip that part? Flowers. Roses. They're organic. Thank you. Mm. You never ate a rose? Uh, no. <laughs> I've eaten lots of things. See? That's just the first thing you're going to learn tonight. Uh, you know, I believe we knew each other before. Now we're going to know each other. Now. I'm a triple Leo. The lion is my spirit animal. Uh, what's your sign? Couldn't tell you. You don't know your sign? I'm going to have to do your chart. Why don't you just do me? OK. I have some tea. Get the thalamus working. Get that crap away from me. Shut off the light. Yeah, uh, that's sunlight. Turn it off! It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Fine, great, great. Go to work. Go, uh, go shoot some dope dealers. It's my day off. Yeah, you have beautiful, untamed energy. <laughs> Shut up! You're very primal, but we found that out last night. I don't remember. I've met some people who have lived hundreds of lifetimes, very old souls. You're a very young soul, wild and beautiful, like a young tornado, powerful, raw energy. Someday, in a future life, you will be a very great and wise consciousness. Listen to me. You may be one of the great lovers of the Western world. I'll give you that. And if broccoli juice and yoga can turn all men into the bunk bunny you are, I will start paying for group fares to India myself. But just knock it off with the gooey stuff, okay? Why, are you afraid of affection? Change the subject. Why? Have you always been like Look, this? I don't do backstories. No monologues about my past. No touching insights into what makes me tick, okay? Okay. okay. Well then, where do you live? Out of my truck. How long are you in town? I leave tomorrow. And why are you here? Are you done? You want me to take an ink blot test or... Uh... Go to the police station and look up my record. I did. You're clean. My father and my grandfather and my great-grandfather were all peace officers. My mother, on the other hand, she was very free of spirit. The first hippie. How did she hook up with the sheriff, Daddy? Uh, she was nude sunbathing on the beach. He arrested her. Made her bail, and that night they were married. <laughs> my father, he taught me discipline and respect, and my mother, she taught me tolerance and forgiveness. I see those. My dad, though, he, uh, he started drinking when I was in high school. And I knew that I couldn't handle my tension like that. I had to handle it from within on my own. So I... Went and lived in a Buddhist monastery for two years. Then I joined the police academy where I became a peace officer. So that's the recipe for this strange brew, you. Yeah. Star, I think I'm falling in love with you.
Big Kitty. Listen to me. If I could do that trick, I would do it with you. If I could dance, I would dance with you. I surely would, but uh, my life is... Uh, it's like a, a high wire act without a net. I work alone. I go solo. But if I ever did take a partner, I gotta go. Where are you going? Why don't you come with me and see? Star, and this thing that's happened, it's meant to be. Nothing is meant to be. There is no such thing as an aura, there's no vibrations, no astral projection, no out of body experiences, no soul travel. It's crap. It's unreal. It's not unreal. It's only unknown. Come one, come all, come island children. Children of all ages. There is magic at hand. Magic in the air. Enter. Enter the mysterious world. The garden of earthly delights. Come. Let us take you on the ride of your life. The pleasures, the flesh, the joys of the unknown. Hear ye, hear ye. In a gesture of unparalleled generosity, one of our island's leading citizens has bonded herself, has sold herself, nay, has put herself up for sale. For five thin dollars, each and every one of you can buy the chance, the once-in-a-lifetime chance, to win... Mayor Chauncey Caldwell, slave for a day. All right, Mayor. Yeah. I'll get you for this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, win the raffle, and the mayor is yours for the day. All day tomorrow, she'll clean for you. She'll cook for you. Anything legal, she'll do it. Let's give a big round of applause to the mayor's egoless donation. What a lesson for us all. Anything for the library. I'll buy 100 tickets. Mr. Hector L. Green. Thank you very much. Sir. I'll buy 200 tickets. Folks, there are plenty more tickets for sale. Win the chance of a lifetime. Have the mayor do your underwear. <laughs> Attention, please. Attention, people. It is now time for the big draw. And you, fair maiden, would you do the honors? Just step right up here. Reach right in there. Pull it out. And the number is... Let me see if you can Number one, eight, one, four, zero. One, eight... One, four, zero. <laughs> we have a winner! Yeah, man. A little lucky charm worked well today, huh? <laughs> Step right up here, sir. Let me see that. Take it. Let me see that ticket. Let me see that. And the winner of Mayor Trusty Caldwell from 8 a.m. tomorrow morning until midnight is Jojo Nabu Lee. Ah, uh, Miss Mayor, here's my address. I expect you to at 8 a.m. sharp, yeah? There's a lot of laundry that needs doing before lunchtime. See ya. <laughs> 
Colorful. Some of our best citizens live here. Gentlemen. Hello. Jojo. Mm. This is your prize. One fairly in support of the library fund. She's yours until midnight to do with what you will, so long as it is safe, legal, and involves... No touching. Well, I would never touch Miss Slave. And I will treat the mayor with all the dignity and respect with which she has treated me, myself, over the past year. And such are the unpredictable yet inevitable turns of karma. Shall we enter my palace now? Just close your eyes and... Think of our library. Yeah, girl, if that don't work, think of why you went into politics in the first place, eh? Wish I knew. Enough talk, let's go. <laughs> I'll be back for you at midnight. Oh, if me old mother could be here to see this. <laughs> good morning, ladies. Well, he's, he's old, but uh, everything looks pretty good. You know, old lightning dancer had a very impressive record when he was racing. Yeah, man, he was champion all the way. Think he could still ride? Oh, Cody, he's about 110 years old. Maybe there's a senior. No, man, he just wants to take it easy. That's all. Get that dog off of my drinking table. Oh, Gumbo, be quiet, man. He's just getting a checkup. I don't care if he's getting a manicure. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Something jump off of that nasty old Didn't thing. Didn't nothing jump off the dog. Me watch this dog up and down. Well, I want your doggy out of here. No pets allowed. No pets allowed? Then what do you call that thing over there, huh? Huh? A companion? Well, fine, then. This dog is my companion. This dog is worth a fortune. What do you say about my doggy? He sired five grand champions, one world champion, and half a dozen gold cup winners. <laughs> oh, so my doggy's a stud, huh? Your doggy? Damn right you give him to me. Well, now I'm taking him back. Doc, what about it? You think that dog got anything left in him to make babies? What, you're asking me? How much he get for making a champion? Well, in his lifetime, I don't know, close to... Uh, three million. Holy moly! <laughs> oh, what about it? What? Can he make babies or can he? Well, he's got all the right parts. Oh, so... Woman, it don't take a fool to figure that out. What the man wants to know if the dog got the ammunition? Can I make a suggestion here? Why don't you take him to a vet, let them run some tests? No, no, I ain't gonna pay for no tests. All right, that's it. Dog, is you loaded or ain't you loaded? Oh, did you see that? Did you see the twinkle in his eye? Let's get this dog some sirloin and find us a bitch in heat. <laughs> that herbal dog food ain't working, Cody. Gumbo, I never said it could raise the dead. Three hot little numbers stroll through here and that dog didn't even twitch an ear. It just don't want to be making no babies, man. I could try another mantra. Where them sexy pictures of Lassie? Maybe they were. Gumbo, man, the dog is too old and tired to be making babies. All right. What the hell good is it, Ann? Why he left me that old bag of bones? Gumbo, where's Bert? I put him over there at his favorite table. Did you get Savannah to the doctor okay? Oh, yeah, it's no problem. Thanks for asking. Hello. Is she really going to do that now? Probably already done. Oh, man. So, uh, how's the race dog business going? You might say it petered out. Hey, Mange your thing. It's good for nothing. I swear, if it wasn't Bert's dog, it'd take it out back, put it out his mouth. Oh, you would do no such thing. Well, look at the old thing. Look, don't you hurt my dog now. I can't figure out why he left you to me. <sighs> I remember when, I'm, when he sold me this bar. This man was smart. Told me, sell the beer cheap, don't water down the drinks, and get some dancing girls. And I done that. Done what the man told me, and I... Got a pretty good life for myself. And you did the same thing, didn't you, old dog? You did what you were supposed to do. 
That old man never did expect anything but the best we could do, did he? All right, then. All right, then. You go right ahead if you want to. You curl up and you dream about that rabbit running a few yards up ahead. And me, <laughs> I think about that old man grinning from ear to ear every time I told him you was a winner. And we was. We was all winners for knowing him, wasn't we, old dog? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What the hell y'all looking at? I gotta go. What's the matter, Seeker? What is it, son? I gotta take care of something. I'll, I'll be, I'll be back. Bye, -bye Lightning. They were the best friends I ever had. They blew into town three days ago like a tornado from my childhood. I thought I had outgrown them. myself have participated in free-form male bonding weekends with long-lost amigos. I myself have become mind-altered and with soulmates shown various parts of my anatomy to the public at large. <laughs> I have placed a urinal upon my head <laughs> and painted the lighthouse to resemble something large and unmentionable. <laughs> so I completely understand these male testosterone rituals. You're intoxicated, and you were endangering the lives of innocent people. You ran butt naked down to Wall Street, you mooned the preacher, and you toilet papered the chief of police's house. <laughs> you let all the air out of the fire engine's tires. You painted Farmer Handsome's cow purple. And you guys drew obscene things on the back of my police vehicle. You guys are going to spend the night here. Seamus, I thought you were more mature than this. Now, you two individuals, having been twice warned, are invited to leave this island first thing tomorrow morning. Do I make myself clear? Weeb. You are invited to join me at the recentering Re -centering program. I know. About your amigos. The friends of our youth, they're the nails and hammers that build our character. I want to avoid a sexist statement here, but uh, I'm not sure many women, if any, could fully understand the deepest meaning of men streaking and mooning and vomiting and passing out together. It is truly a beautiful thing. It's a death rebirth thing. But for everything, there is a season. For you, the leaves have started to turn. You have taken root. For you, this is the season of reaping and harvest. But your friends, they have their own cycles. For them, at this time in their life, there is left much sowing to be done. OK, people, I will not be caught sleeping, understand? If this storm comes, we'll be prepared. Nobody's going to die because I was stupid. Sheriff Cody. Yes, ma'am. Is the road to the mainland clear? All clear. OK, good. Annie, advise all pedestrians to move to safety. If this thing becomes a hurricane, I want all people off the island. Yes, ma'am. 
I want this island better prepared than it was when Betsy hit in 65. People, this is Key West, my home, greatest place on earth. And we have some of the great bozos in the solar system living here. True statement. These idiots tried to surf the tidal wave back in 65. Sheriff Cody? Yes, ma'am. When the winds hit, I don't want any windsurfing. No windsurfing. No parasailing. No parasailing. No kite flying contests. No bungee jumping from the lighthouse. And no toga parties. Anyone caught wearing a toga in this hurricane will be arrested. But you don't have to worry. No, because you got a chance to buy Miss Special Hurricane Protection Charms. Only $10. This little fella right here will guarantee to protect you against rain, tidal waves, and winds up to 110 miles per hour. Yeah, man. What do you do if the wind hits 120? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. Then you need to buy me special class four talisman. Yeah? Class four talisman guarantee you up to 150 mile per hour wind. But that's five dollars extra for that coverage, you know. I'll take one class four. All right, man. Now who else wanna buy? Oh, the litter right here, I want to buy one. There you go. All right, now, man, you want to buy I know you want to buy one. Sheriff Cody, what's the situation like on US-1? Flowing slow, but smooth. Good. How many people have left the island? The tourists are getting the idea, but the locals are digging in. <sighs> Damn it. I know these people. They think it's a joke. Time for a big party. Sheriff Cody? Sheriff Cody, this is not a joke. Understand? I will not allow lives to be lost from foolishness. Understood. You better understand me. You better understand me better than I understand myself. Arrest that man. You should be shot. If I had my way, we'd execute you in front of City Hall and play it on television every 20 minutes. This man is a killer. Oh, he may not pull the trigger. But people are going to die because of him. Lock him up and throw away the key. Easy, Nero. What the hell is going on here? Hmm? It's a bad time for historical reenactment. What are you going to do, shoot me? Fun is fun. I completely grok. I myself have impersonated historical figures and jumped off low rooftops. Not everybody understands this. So for all this, I'm going to jail? Au contraire, taxpayer. You are going on a secret government mission. Mission? I just want to get out of this ridiculous outfit and get off of this island. That's all I want to do. You get your clothes, you get on your hog, and you get out to the dolphin place and check that the doctor isn't flying blind. Then the two of you get your butts off this island. And for that, I don't have to go to jail. Message received. Thank you, Sheriff. You'd never make it. I can make it, trust me. No, traveler. You'd be riding right into the hurricane. I kept the road open as long as I could. You are late. What about him? He outweighs you by several times. And even him, I'm worried about. All day long, you've been telling people to leave. So just let me go. That was then. This is now. There's a hurricane coming. Then it is time. Hunker down. All right. Sheriff Cody stayed out half the night making sure no homeless people were left stranded. He was like a shepherd protecting his flock. Everybody counted. And everybody had to be inside, safe. Oh, 
my God. Oh, 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 sweetie, sister, you, uh, you in the wrong place, sister. Cody, why for you bring your sister in here? Saddle, Gumbo. She's in the right place. She's not going to be converting in here, is she? No offense, sister, but I need all the business I can get. Don't we all, young man? No, I'm looking for a particular person. Hey, friend. You still with us? Hey. Come on. Hey, take it easy. Everything's fine. Hey, we all had those kind of nights. What happened? I'm afraid that's in your ballpark, friend. Hey, you want to see a doc? No, I'm fine. I'd recommend a good meal. I'd shake out the cobwebs. There's a little cafe up the way, serves the best omelet in Key West. This is Key West. Now we're making some progress. Hey, those are very authentic looking duds. You were at a costume party last night. No. OK, friend. I'd recommend getting a roof over your head tonight. So you really going out there again? Oh, you bet. This thing's really got you going. Oh, yeah. There's something out there, Cody. I'm going to find out what it is. I hear you. Want to come out there with me? Well, you know I'm a true believer in the supernatural. Unexplained events phenomenons of time and space. And as a true believer, I feel I should always continually explore, read, research, and try to understand that which is incomprehensible. Don't want to go, huh? Nope. One of my officers found it down at the docks. Well, I truly believed I'd never be seeing this again. Savannah, you, you really got to keep an eye on a thing like that. What, you read it? No. Yes, I had to find out who it belonged to. Do you really know all those people? Oh, yeah. If that got in the wrong hands... Yes, baby, I know. I'd keep it locked up if I were you. Thank you, Cody, I will. I guess that's all. Bye. Cody. Yeah? On second thought, maybe you better hang on to it for a while. Girl could get in a lot of trouble with a book like that. Might need a little help. I'll keep it safe. Thank you, baby. Savannah. Yes? Good luck. Thank you. What the hell is going on here? Did you look behind the glove compartment? You have what must be over a hundred cars backed up on that road there. Eddie, do you know how long it takes to search a car bumper to bumper? You wouldn't believe it. He's right, Mayor. It's an art form. Well, does it have to be such a slow art form? Do you know where I found two Mexicans once? Twin brothers from Tijuana. I found one clinging to the rear axle, the other inside the passenger seat of a Chevy Suburban. You, well, there. you got to admire that kind of determination. Right. Now, when do you think all this will be over? When the job is done. When is the job done? Look, lady, I'm trying to do my job. And yes, you're going to have a problem for a few days, but it can't be helped, all right? I have a responsibility to this community. Do you know what this traffic jam is doing to the tourism on our island? Well, we're very sorry about that, ma'am. No, I don't think you understand. Something has got to be done to get this moving now. I have no authority to change this operation. You'll have to talk to the regional director. And who is that? Well, it's still a vacancy in light of the change in administration. 
Who is in charge then? Deputy Director Duffy McCormick. But you can't bother Duffy. He's on heart medication. Is there anybody I can talk to? You're talking to him. Now, can I please do my work? Yeah, you get overtime if your shift goes past 4.30. Howard, can we talk? Yeah. We need to keep our channels open, a clear frequency, a common vibration. What the hell are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is that the people at Key West, they're my people. I can help. I speak their language. And what language is that? What language is that? It's the language of the heart. Well, I speak the language of the U.S. government, and if I perceive that anyone is trying to interfere with my operation, I'm going to make it my business to be sure that he gets put in jail. Understand that language? You should try yoga. You know, I'm going to count to five, and then I want you out of my sight. this guy kidding? What the hell is going on? Okay, just hold it up. This isn't a road, you know. Now pull it over and shut off the engine or else go to jail. Hey, you boys are doing a great job now. A great job. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, I just want to come down here and tell you how much I appreciate it. I do. I appreciate you keeping all this foreign riffraff from sneaking in here. Back of the line, oh, buddy. Come on, come on, now look here, look here. You ain't gonna find nothing illegal in that truck of mine. And me, I'm a full-blooded American citizen. So look, look, as one American to another, I was thinking maybe you just let me sneak on by, you know? Yeah, I, see, I got this bar back in town, Gumbo. Maybe you heard of it? And, boy, I am running low on supplies, let me tell you. One sad story after another. Move it. Come, come on, come on, man. Back you're, there. You're interfering with commerce, man. You're interfering with the American dream. Don't turn away from me, fool. Cody, ain't you got some kind of pull here? I'm sorry, Gumbo. We're kind of caught between a rock and a hard head. Oh, man, what, what this government moron? What right he got to come in here treating people this way, giving me all this kind of grief? I know where you're coming from. I am coming from my emptied out, no customer, no beer bar, damn it. Hey, Mayor. Hi, Cody. What's the matter? Nothing. I just uh, wanted to get some air. You look like somebody's karma just ran over your dogma. Don't you see what they're doing to us? They've taken over. We've become irrelevant. Yeah, I know. It's a drag. But then I say, what can we do? We are just links in a chain. It seems some of us are weaker links than others. Hello. Hey! Hey! Jojo! Hey, wait a minute! Jojo! Hey, Esther, listen to me. There's a media circus converging on this town that's going to make your little operation crawl back under the rock it came out from. Read it and weep. I've called the public information office, all right? Yeah, in the meantime, open that van. The Conch Republic grants Mr. Nabuli asylum. What are you people, crazy? Yeah, only in the good sense of the word. I would be violating everything that I believe in if I opened that door. <sighs> Sheriff. The keys, please. <laughs> Jojo! Jojo! Sheriff, uh, good work, boy. inventory our supplies. We may need to ration our food and water in case they cut us off from the mainland completely. Yes, ma'am. Cut us off. Gumbo! Oh, I already know. I've dusted for gator tracks in two separate locations. Where they at? She's vacated both vicinities. However, 
There have been reports of missing poodles in both locations. Oh, that weren't pink. Now, she hates French food. Well, notwithstanding her domestic dining habits, she is a gator on the loose, and the return to the wild is to return to wild. Oh, Back to nature. She has not got an aggressive bone in her green body. Mm. What is it? Gumbo, a gator that eats poodles might one day eat people. Now, you may quibble with that equation. Yes, I do. She got a little lamb's heart. I understand how important your pet is to you, Gumbo. But my main mandate is public safety. I am forced to act. What does that mean? Yeah, what you planning on doing? I thought it'd be best to call in a professional. Professional what? I called the sea man. Gumbo! You a cold man, Cody Jefferson, a cold, cold man. Gumbo, pink has run amok. Two poodles are missing off their leashes, uh, and I'm not sure about a family ferret lost off to Ball Street. And all the fingers point towards Pink. She has run amok, and I cannot allow a muck to run in my town. And the seaman will be here in an hour. Gumbo, main pain. Sheriff, Crocodile Chuck Enterprises at your service. Gumbo. It's Ticker Pink. That is unfortunate. Origin of escape being where? I say it's Ticker Pink. And I heard you the first time. You know what that gator means to me. The natural feel affection for a reptile. I always told you that. Gumbo, show Chuck the cage. It's Ticker Pink. I hear you, baby. I hear you. Talk to your daddy. Is it Pink? Hang on, Pinky. I'm gonna come Gator. in. I'm gonna come right there and get Female. you. Female. About 25 years old, well fed. Sounds like Pink. Pink. No. Pink, I'm she's coming, baby. She's on the baby. move and she's I'm dangerous. I'm coming to get you. Any other known Gators on the island? Not to my knowledge. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I'm gonna come get you. Well, our problem just grew. <laughs> That's a love-starved gator in heat. I don't believe it. Believe it. I'm going to find her my own self. I'm going to have to keep an eye on Gumbo. Cajun man thinks that gators is just swamp dogs. Well, how big the difference? Sounds like a Leo. Listen to that little lion-ass roar. Am I doing this right? Yeah, just support her head on the arm there. You're doing fine. Riley, I need that bottle. Riley, I need that bottle. I'm coming. Any word on the mother? I called the INS, called the Coast Guard. There's a chance they may find her. Oh, I can't believe she would do this. It is a rare mother that would leave her young, but let us not forget the kookalite. The what? The cuckoo lady, doctor, more commonly called the cuckoo bird, sneaks its egg into other birds' nests so it can be hatched and raised by foster parents. Look, this is not a nest. Riley, hand me that bottle, please. America is one big inviting nest to the rest of the world. Uncle Sam, Andy. The Key West is... This big, warm hand stuck down in the middle of the Gulf Stream saying, hey, everybody, climb aboard. Come on. Still sound like music to you? Sounds like colic. What's that? A one in six babies has it. The exact nature of the discomfort is unknown, but the response is universal. What is that? Inconsolable crying. Oh, God. I gotta go. Where are you going? I have to check on the dolphins. Don't leave me here alone. I'll be right back. You'll be fine. Cody. Cody, you're going to have to help me. Sorry, compadre. Duty calls. Hey. hey, what's happening? She's quieting down. Motion mellows a baby. You can either walk a day and night or invest in the cradle. <laughs> I'm not going to buy a cradle. 
cradle. She's not my kid. You get back. Get back. I ain't gonna miss it, point blank. You pull that trigger, that'd be the last thing you ever do. Sheriff? Gumbo? She ain't gonna do nothing but follow me home. She knows she been bad, and she ain't gonna do it no more. Ain't that right, baby? She promised. Now, you tell Chucky to be on his clifty clopty way before I slap some barbecue sauce on his ass, throw him on my grill, and serve him up as part of the lunch menu. Chucky, you're not gonna look very good with barbecue sauce on your butt. Sheriff Cody! Sheriff Cody, what in the hell is going on here? Doesn't it speak for itself? No, it leaves quite a bit to the imagination. Simplify it. This damn fool want to shoot my gator. A bounty posted is a bounty collected. Wait a minute. Gladly. You got another gator down there. Big, male. Satisfied. Tick a pink, ain't you ashamed of yourself? I raise you better than that. Storm sewer gators cost double. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There will be no wild animals shot in my town. Sheriff Cody. Yes, ma'am. Could you call the wildlife department and tell them to get the gator out of our sewer system? And Gumbo, could you take your little friend home? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna give her a talking to. Missy, you get on home with me now. You get on home with me now. Anything else, Mayor? Today? I hope not. Oh, thank you. And our children, that's the almighty second word for hope. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, there'll be someone here to pick you up within the hour. You couldn't do anything? No. But I did get Sylvia a baby present. Birth certificate. Born on American soil means forever an American. <laughs> you got your citizenship, baby. This for real, man? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite peace officer. Have a seat, sugar. A word to the wise. That's me. An informed mind is a protected mind. Yes. Our new mayor is mounting a morality offensive. They're going to be running over the scurrilous minions of depravity and licentiousness. Oh my. They're blocking out immorality, stomping on the devil alcohol, on idleness, and on all forms of erotic release. What are you trying to tell me, baby? Get a real job, Savannah. Oh, sugar, I have myself a real job. Well, get a real, real job. At least until this political dance thing blows over. Okay, baby, I got you. I'll lay low for now. Thank you, Savannah. It's a pleasure, as always. As always. Hey. Hey. Right. Kajmalski, take those padlocks and start locking this place down. Kajmalski, yeah. freeze your ass. Cody, what the hell is going on here? By order of the mayor of this city, 
I'm authorized to close this and all like places of business. Wait, wait, wait! What the hell for? About a dozen health and safety code violations. You have got to be kidding me! No, sir. No. All right, you got to get out the bar now. I want you off my property. Gumbo, don't take this personally. You're the sixth bar I closed today. I, I left you open long as I could. I don't give a rat's ass how many bars you closed today. You ain't shut me down! Right. Don't yell at me! Yeah. It's a seeker's fault. What? Advanced copy of your article got a lot of attention down at City Hall. All right, everybody, let's move. This bar is closed. All right, all right. Gumbo, how's it going? You stay away from me. What you planning on doing? Go blow every window out of this hell hole. You gonna shoot City Hall? You damn right I am. Holster those weapons. You gonna take out all the windows? Every last one of them. You tell me I can't fight City Hall? Just watch, buddy boy. It gonna make you feel better? It's gonna do me a world of good. Now get back! You know, this means Randolph will have to work Saturday. Won't get to see his boy quarterback up in Memphis. City Hall be on his butt till he gets all the windows back on and hold Randolph with that bad hip and everything. It'll take him all weekend. Damn it, Cody. What the hell am I supposed to do? Who is to blame here? Just tell me that. I can't tell you that. They shouldn't ought to close gumbos. I agree. How I'm supposed to fight this? It's bigger than me. I, I, I don't know how to fight it. I wish I knew. Hey, it's a weather bee, Athena. Over and under. It's a very fine, very fine shotgun. It's got a loitering cetacean, have we? Yeah, well, that cetacean just about got whacked playing chicken with a speedboat. Propellers and porpoises make a bad tango team. When do you show up? Savannah and I were out on the reef. You in Savannah? We were just looking for lobsters, that's all. And this guy materialized out of thin air, and he's been following us ever since. So, you know, I feel a little responsible. Two kinds of people in the world. Those that can leave a stray at the door and those that can't. My wayward pet population once included five dogs, two cats, a goose, and a hedgehog. Yeah, well, I had some goldfish once, but dolphins are a little different, you know what I mean? Yeah, have you thought much what I said about dolphins being the lost descendants of Atlantis? Haven't exactly had much time, Sheriff. They still have finger bones in their flippers. Their brain matches ours ounce for ounce. I know, I know, they're very smart, but maybe this one is an exception. Damn it. Don't I know you? Isn't that... Sasha! Sasha, what are you doing here? Hey, Sasha, go home, baby! To try. My partner here, another drink, and uh, Gilmer, make it top shelf. <laughs> guess hear the news? What news, man? Treasure Museum, anonymous donor left to cross. That's good. Not good, noble. The Calusa Cross belongs in a museum. Calusa Cross? Yeah, Ponce de Leon gave it to the Calusa Indians in 1513. Somewhere out there tonight dwells a great and generous spirit. How generous? Oh, uh, it's worth maybe two, three million. 